tangents to a circle. Question 3. Find the length of the tangent from the point P, 5,7, to the circle x square plus y square equals to 10. So we already have a figure for you. And here when we say x square plus y square equals to 10, that means a circle was centered at the origin and radius as 10 square root, right? Square root of this. That's the radius. And what do we need to do? We need to find length of tangent from this given point P, which is 5 comma 7. That point is 5 comma 7. That means from here you go 5 units and then 7 units up, right? So this is 7 and this is 540. Now, to find the length of the tangent, let's sketch one tangent. Let's draw one. So let's go like this and draw a line from the given point to the circle where it touches just at one point. That is kind of definition for the tangent, right? So we'll draw this line. Now this line touches our circle at a point and let's call this point as Q. Now, if I join this point Q with the center, then I should get a right angle here, right? So that point should make a right angle. So I have a right angle here and that is the definition of tangent Tangent is a line which makes a right angle with the radius at the point where it touches the circle, right? And it touches just at one point on the circle. Now we need to find the length of this, Q, P, right? So that is the length which we are interested in finding from Q to P. We already know the radius of the circle, which is square root of 10. So let me write down here, square root of 10. That is the radius of the circle. Now with one side given, two sides are known, we can't do it. So we need to find first P this length. Let me write this as zero as the origin. So length PO. Well, that is easy for us to find. What we can do is, we can use Pythagorean theorem to find PO. The given point is five, seven. That means from here to here, this length is five. And if we drop a perpendicular like this here, that should be seven, right? So this side is 7 for us, this is 5, correct? If this is 7, that is 5, and this is the right triangle, then this should, then OP should be equals to Pythagorean theorem, right? So we'll use that. So we'll write OP square is equals to 5 square plus 7 square, correct? 5 square plus 7 square. 5 square is 25, 7 square is 49, correct? So, so that gives us 4174. So OP square is 74 for us, right? So OP square is 74. Now we know OP square and we also know square of OQ. Square of OQ is 10. So we can find QP, right? Now, in this right triangle, that is 90 degrees. Therefore, the hypotenuse is OP, right? So therefore, OP square is also equals to OQ square plus QP square. Correct? Now, see, we know OP square, which is 74. So we write 74 equals to OQ square is 10. Square root of 10 square is 10 plus QP square, right? So from here we can find what QP square is, which is 10, 74 minus 10, right? So we'll write QP square equals to 74 minus 10, which is 64, right? And therefore QP is equals to square root of 64, and that is 8. And therefore we find that the length of the tangent from the point P is 8, right? 8 units, right? So that is our answer. So it is interesting to know that we don't really have to find the point Q. What is the point Q? We don't have to find, no, right? We can find the length of the tangent without even finding the point Q, right?